Hello and welcome to the I Can See the Stage From Here June show. I'm Roger Poulter, your host, and I'll be going through the things I've been doing during the month of June. I'll be talking about the album announcements that have caught my attention, the tour announcements that have caught my attention, I'll be doing a bit of festival watch, and I'll be discussing what I'm going to be up to during the month of July. So we've got lots to get through, so let's crack on with it. So what have I been doing? Well, at the start of the month, I went to the Under the Castle Festival. Uh, these two pictures of uh, Cinematics and Paul Henshaw. Um, I enjoyed both these artists and there was other artists on there. Saturday was a better lineup than Friday, but it was a very friendly, enjoyable festival. So uh, if you're looking for one for next year, that would be one which I'd recommend. Uh, there is a festival review on my channel, so uh, and I'll put a link in the comments below. I also went to Lincoln to see Ferocious Dog. They were supported by the Cloverhearts, which is the top picture. Ferocious Dog, they're brilliant. If you've not seen them, make sure you go and see them at some point. Uh, they're a great punk rock folk group. Uh, love what they do. They've got a new album out. Check them out. I was also went to the new co-op live arena to see the Eagles supported by the Doobie Brothers. So uh, that's the Doobie Brothers and that's the Eagles. Um, that was a great night out. I have done a venue guide for the Co-op Arena and again I'll put a link in the comments below. So if you're interested in that by all means go and watch that video uh, and you can see what I thought of the Co-op Live Arena in Manchester. During the month of June, I also had a great night out at Pie Peas and Performance in Redford. This was a Tony Wright gig, and this is will apply throughout this show. Right, uh, I do have connections with Tony Wright. I was selling his merch on that night. I am not paid to promote him, but he's my one of my. Well, he is my favourite artist. So uh, this was a great night in Redford. If you've not been to a Pie Peas and Performance night. It's one where, within your ticket price, you get pie and peas. So uh, they serve the pie and peas in the church hall next door, and because this con you know gig had sold well, they actually had the gig in the church. Uh, you were allowed to take beer in. It was a take-your-own-beer to the venue, and uh, it was an amazing night out. Uh, if you're interested in going, you can get vegetarian bat pies, but you have to contact them in advance once you've bought your ticket, and they will organise a vegetable pie for you. But make sure you contact them. They won't be able to just magic one up on the night. So, uh, I also went to the Doncaster Brewery and Tap to see Aubrey, Bre Aubrey Drakeledge, supported by Peter Drake. Uh, this was a night of comedy and music organised by Root Rocks. Uh, there's a venue guide on my YouTube channel. There will be a link in the comments. Um, it was a really fun night. So both both these artists are fun to see. So uh, on the 20th of June, I dropped into Derby to have a look at the new Beckett Well music venue development and do a construction update which again is available on my youtube channel uh, this is a three and a half thousand seat venue that's going to be in derby opening spring next year i believe and it's the replacement for the assembly rooms so really looking forward to this venue opening on the same evening i went over to huddersfield to see the amazing carol hodge and julia offmer uh, what can I say? Just look at the videos on my YouTube channel. These are two artists. It's a privilege to see them. 
right? They are absolutely brilliant. Uh, support was from Anna Tempest, a German musician, uh, and she was very good as well. Really enjoyed what she did, so uh, that was a really good night out. And the day after, I was back at the parish, but this time I was in the main music room rather than the dive bar to see Toby Jepson the frontman of Wayward Sons and formerly Little Angels. This was a great night of rock music, playing a, mostly Little Angels numbers. There's, uh, there were some Wayward Sons and there were some of his own tracks he played. Uh, this night, it just got better and better. So uh, uh, if you ever see him on anywhere, yeah, he's a good artist. I'd recommend you go and see him. Okay, moving on to the album announcements. Now, the album announcements, I was a little bit worried because there was many album announcements that caught my attention this month. However, when I thought, oh, what am I going to do for this section? I'd been to see Toby Jepson and he announced he was going to be releasing a new album in the autumn during his gig and I happened to be videoing him at the time, so Let's hit. I'll let him say it in his own words. I've made a second record. Just me and Dave have been in the studio with a group of great musicians. We've recorded 20 songs for the next Toby and the Whole Truth record, which is, uh, you know, it's going to be coming out pretty soon. Angela, can I just have a look at that T-shirt again, there? Really? Is that this lovely little number? Yeah, yes. Yeah, this is, really is fantastic quality. Right? But that's the name of the record. We're going to do it, and we're going to release it in three mini albums. We're going to do it completely differently. You know, we're going to release it in three mini albums. Uh, there's 12 official tracks, um, but there's eight extra tracks, and I'm going to release all the demos as well. I've got 20 songs to put in, in demos, and then you might prefer the demo version because that, that's the thing. Sometimes you get the demo right, and you never get the master right. You know, so I'm, going to, I'm releasing 40 pieces of music for this for this record over a period of time. I think the first one's going to come out beginning of October. We still got some work to do on it, but I'm very proud of it actually, and um, I hope you like it. You know. So uh, that was Toby's announcement. There's got a new album coming out, probably release in October. Then uh, a few days afterwards, one of my favourite groups. The Virgin Marys announced they had a new album coming out on the 1st of November 2024 called The House Beyond the Fires. Now, I love this album design. I've ordered it on, you can pre order it, I've ordered it on vinyl because I just know this album's going to look absolutely amazing. Now, if you've not seen The Virgin Marys, they're a two piece rock band who, when you see them, you'll be amazed at the sound they produce. Uh, it's made up of Ali and Danny. Ali plays guitar and does vocals. Danny is the drummer and he's one of the most brilliant rock drummers I have ever seen. Uh, if you've not seen the Virgin Marys, they are a must-see group. So, uh, And you will be able to see them later this year. I'll come on to that shortly. So that's the only two album announcements I'm going to mention this month. Moving on to the tour announcements. So, uh, Ugly Kid Joe, they've got the Europe Summer 2024 tour. Uh, one of these is at the parish, and that one caught my attention. And then I found out the Virgin Marys were supporting them at that. So this, you know, the parish gig is a must-say. In fact, the Virgin Marys are supporting them on most of the UK leg of the tour. There's a couple which they're not doing. If you want to know which ones the Virgin Marys are at, uh, check in on the Virgin Mary's uh, website. I've included a link in the comments below, um, and you'll be able to see which ones the Virgin Marys are supporting. Uh, I don't think they're supporting in Liverpool. I don't I don't take my word on that, but I'm pretty sure I've seen that Muddy Brook, who are another amazing group, are supporting them in Liverpool, I believe. But. Uh, um, Ugly Kid Joe with a Virgin Mary supporting them. That's a must see. So uh, you get yourself there. Uh, I'm aware of another group that I tend to go and watch because, again, the great group is the Headsticks. 
And they've announced a series of gigs for September, October and November. Their Autumn 2024 tour. Um, go and check them out if you haven't seen them already. It's another band I recommend. Okay. Now, in addition to that, I've already mentioned them both in the album uh, announcements and supporting Ugly Kid Joe. But also Virgin Marys are doing a headline tour uh, called the House Beyond the Fire tour. And uh, again, these will be great uh, gigs. So uh, I'll definitely be going to one of these. I, in fact, I believe I'm going to Nottingham. Uh, if you if you go into any gigs and you see me, by the way, by all means come up and say hello. So uh, it's great to chat to other music lovers. So uh, anyway, um, another tour that caught my attention is that it was announced that Red Ken and Tony Wright are doing a co-headline tour in December of three venues. Uh, this, is, this is likely to be very special. Uh, Ken, if you don't know, is from Ferocious Dog. Tone is from Terrorvision and also he does his own solo stuff. Um, a co-headline tour by these two is a must-see. Um, please, please refer to my early comments. I do, I do have connections with Tony, but uh, uh, I just think it's great that they're announcing these dates. It, it will be quite special. In fact, on Facebook they did a video, and I'll play that video now, um, which explains what the tour is. Hello then, Ken. How are you doing? Good to see you. Hello, John. How's things all right? I'm fabulous, thank you very much yeah. for asking. Uh, just black coffee and a slice of that cake then, please. A black coffee and a piss cake. Americano and uh, lemon and blueberry. I was thinking the other day, you know what, um, you know you do the acoustic thing and I did that thing with, uh, in lockdown, sing along with Red Ken. What about taking it on open road? What, like do a, a combine thing like... Doggy vision. You could have a show up to Yorkshire Way, Leeds. You could organise one in Nottingham from the open there. And we could have a third one, you know, somewhere down south somewhere. What do you reckon? I don't mind. Up or down. Can't do two nights at either place, can we? So let's make it somewhere different. Um, we could be like a mystery tour. Every tour is to me, to be fair. <laughs> I know it down south, south, but Northampton would be a good one. It's a good idea. I'll get my people to talk to your people. My people? Okay. I'll find some people for them to talk to. <laughs> yeah, so that was uh, Ken and Tony announcing their three-night tour for December. Okay, so in terms of festivals, uh, the ones that uh, are coming up, which I'd like to just chat about... Uh, 14th of July is Plague Fest. Now, there has been an issue with this one in that they've had to find a new venue at short notice, which I believe they have found. So over the next few days, they will be announcing on their socials uh, what, you know, where the new venue is. It's still in Chesterfield. Um, but from what I hear, they've managed to retain all the... Uh, artists on here there's some great artists on here I mean Tony Wright again uh, Loz Campbell Pope Stars are a ghost tribute band um, there's loads of comedians on and oddly enough I'm one of them if you don't know I do do stand-up comedy as well as these kind of shows and I'm doing a 10 minute stand-up set during Plague Fest in fact I believe I'm on just before Tony's on so Come over to Chesterfield and watch it. It's only £15 and they're raising money for Macmillan Cancer. So uh, it's going to be a great day out. On the 20th of July, there's the Skate Punk's Punk Rock Beach Party. Uh, this has got Ferocious Dog Acoustic, uh, which are great. Uh, it's got Tony Wright, of course, and uh, several other artists. And uh, uh, this sounds like it's going to be a fun day out so uh, get yourself to that one and on the weekend of the 26th and 27th of July there is now then now 
I went to this one last year, it's over Cotgrave uh, near Nottingham. Uh, I can't go this year, unfortunately, but I thought I'd mention it because if you look at the poster, they've got some great artists on there. They've got Nick Park and the False Alarms, which is Nick Park with his full band, always worth seeing. They've got the Headsticks, Three Daft Monkeys, some great artists on here. Uh, and the thing about it, it's on a scout camp, so... The camping pitches are second to none, and it does have a full range of permanent facilities, which is always good to see. And I went last year, and it's a really friendly festival, so it's one that's well worth going to. So it's just sad uh, I can't go there. There's a chance I could go on the Friday night, um, but I definitely can't go on the Saturday. So, uh, But that's now then on the 26th and 27th of July. So, we now go on to what I'm going to be doing during July. Well, one of the things I'm doing is, and I couldn't resist this one, is uh, Britfest. Now, this is a three-day festival. I'm choosing to go on the Friday. Um, there are great artists on the Saturday and Sunday as well, but uh, I'm going on the Friday and I couldn't resist this lineup. It starts with Chris Helm, there's Dodgy, there's Reef, there's uh, there's The Feeling, oh, loads of them. The Lottery Winners are a brilliant group. If you haven't seen The Lottery Winners, they are one of my must-see groups as well. Uh, there's cast, there's scouting for girls. What more could you want in a one-day festival? So uh, uh, I'll probably do a festival guide about that festival as well. Uh, it's over, not far from uh, Hale in Manchester. Uh, not too far from Manchester Airport, actually. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that one. Now, I've already mentioned Plague Fest. I'll definitely be at that one. And the punk rock beach party. Uh, that goes without saying. Um, and I don't think we've got any other gigs booked at the moment. But I'm sure I'll be at other gigs as well. Now, I've hoped you enjoyed this show. right? If you have any suggestions as to bands you think I should be seeing. And gigs you know, I could be going to. By all means, leave a comment. And please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll get notified of future videos. So, uh, and thank you for watching. There's only one more thing to say, and that is go out and support live music. This is Roger from I Can See The Stage From Here saying goodbye.